today, we're going to talk about the new view model feature. You can switch from right hand to left hand, or left hand to right hand, or you can uh, change the XYZ values and the FOV. First things first, we're going to need Half-Life Advanced Effects, so developer, custom loader. You should already know how to start this up. If you don't, I've got a tutorial. All right, cool. So we're in a demo. This is pretty easy. Merv view model enabled one. Okay. Cool. So that basically enables you to start editing the view model. Now, if you're not getting Merv commands to pop up when you type in Merv in the console, it means Half-Life Advanced Effects didn't hook in properly, okay? Once you go back and watch that tutorial on how to set up Half-Life Advanced Effects and run CS2 with it, or you can join my Discord, I'll help you in there. All right, now that we enable it, let's set the values. And the values are gonna go like this, okay? First number is gonna be X, the second number is gonna be Y, third number is gonna be Z, and then the fourth number is gonna be your FOV, and then your fifth number is going to be right hand, or left hand, okay? Let's see that in action. So let's do, um, let's do negative one for your X value, zero for your Y, negative three for your Z value. Let's make an FOV of 50 or something. And then this fifth value here, okay? It's either gonna be zero or one. So right hand is zero, left hand is one. So let's make it left hand. And after that, we hit enter and there you go. We've got a left-handed view model that is very bad looking. <laughs> all right. I don't suggest using this. All right. But here, let's try another thing. All right. Let's make X negative four. Let's make Y two and let's make Z uh, zero. And then let's make the FOV like 70 and let's put it back to right handed model. Okay. And that's going to be zero. Okay. So remember this first one is X. The second one is Y. This third one is the Z value. This fourth one is FOV. And then this is right hand equals zero and left hand equals one. So if you wanna just imprint that in your head, what these values are. So let's delete all this now. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. It's right hand, but because how offset everything is, it looks like it's on the left side, okay? So we could probably change that by changing this to two. There you go. So as you can see, if it's a right-handed view model, the more negative you get, the more off to the left it's gonna be because it's an X, Y, Z plane, right? And the more positive you get, the more off to the right it's gonna be. And then, Obviously, that's gonna be reverse, right? The more negative you are as a left-handed view model, the more to the right it's gonna be. And the more positive as a left view model, the more off to the left it's gonna be, okay? And that's on the X plane, okay? Same thing for Y plane, all right? Let's, uh, let's give it a 20 value on the Y plane. Oof. Now, remember, this is Y plane as in you're looking down at the map, okay? So your Y is actually gonna be away from you, okay? Z is up and down, and I'll show you how that works. So Z is up and down your body from head to toe, okay? So I think that covers it, awesome. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments, but this is a pretty simple command, and I hope it helped.